We wanted to start another festival, but wanted to start a festival that we really believed in. Something that was different, something that someone didn't have. There, well, there wasn't one here in New South Wales. So in 2006, we started looking at venues. And we looked down south for ages, and we went up north and found El Rio. And then 2007, we started the first one. It enables people to get off in a car park, get a, a boat to a, a place which seems like a little magical hideaway. And yeah, get them off and hopefully they're fun for weekends. It is most definitely the venue that has so much to do with it. It couldn't be playground without this beautiful festival. The, the sandstone cliffs, the sunset, the river, but it's also the people. And I don't mean just the punters, I mean the crew as well. It's a, it's a real combination. It's one, it's one festival that I absolutely love going front of house. It's a real pleasure. The people who come here are just amazing and so passionate about it and love getting involved. So I think it's people and venue. Australians in general just like to have a good time, you know, they like to celebrate life and just enjoy, you know, they, they, they put value in enjoying themselves, which is really a good thing when you play music at a music festival because everybody's certainly not reluctant to show their enjoyment. to err on the side of the more indie and quirky because I think festivals should be about discovering music you might not necessarily know and so many of the punters would prefer to be educated. So many people say to me it's not just about the artist it's about everything else and so it's about introducing them to stuff that's a little bit different. <laughs> Australia in the past, it's been rare, we usually just do shows in the cities and fly in between so you really don't get to get out of the cities at all so it's really nice this time to be able to come out here and, and hang out tonight. What we've done this year especially is acts that are cool acts, up and coming acts like Carrie and Fortes for instance, have been enormously well received in the lineup. Against when other major festivals are allowed in these multi-million dollar acts, people are more excited about seeing Caribou. So I think there's more of an effort from us to uncover and find good quality, great acts and make sure they're on our lineup. Del Rio is just unique, but also we're selling lots of music. We have a swimming pool on site, which has the famous Club Tropicana party. There's just so many times the encouragement to everyone on Saturday to get into fancy dress. We do it backstage. I greeted Della Soul yesterday dressed as pebbles with a massive plastic bone in my hair and had them falling out of the car in laughter. And it was just like, welcome to Playground. I saw a full pack of 52 playing cards out there. So 52 mates all got together, dressed up as cards and had playground your cards right on their back. That's just phenomenal. It is great people who want to escape in for one weekend of the year, but you won't probably find them at every other festival. They may only do playground once a year and then they'll have a rest for the next 51 weeks. <laughs> they need it. We set you free on, on the big top stage because all our winners are invited to join me 11.30 in the big top where you'll be dancing to the first track of the set. Let me I've 
listening to. This is a really friendly crowd. But like if you're trying to get to the front of the stage, people just let you through. Everyone's very nice. For me, playground, the way that it is, the people that are attracted to coming here, they are second to none. It's fantastic. A great bunch of people. There's not many places that you can camp and chill and then go and get hyped whenever you want down on the main stage. So I'd recommend to anyone looking for a good time.